Yo, 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 it's the boy a lot of hate. Slick on one wheel. Here at the lot on a rainy day. And welcome to the second video of my newest series, How To. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to drift your Honda Grom. steering is very important if you want to keep your drift going for a long time and you want it to be really cool so step one you guys I'm just gonna go straight I'm gonna pull in the clutch and I'm gonna lock my back tire you know make it skirt and this is where the blacktop and the wet surface comes in handy because I could do a lot more practice rounds of this without messing up my tire so I'm coming in pull in the clutch lock the brake go straight do that a few times, go straight, pull in the clutch, lock your brakes and slide. When you get used to that, you're going to start to stick your leg out and you're going to start to lean over a little bit as it slides. Gradually, once you start sliding, pull in the clutch, lock the brakes, lean over, lean over, lean over, boom. That brings us straight into step number two, which is starting to dump the clutch and spin the bike. Now, if you do want to skip step number one, you can. This is also a good way to learn. Me and my friend, we would literally stand our all the way off the bike, lean the bike over, give it a little bit of gas, and let go of the clutch. Pull the clutch right back in when you're done. Do the same thing on the other side. Give it a little bit of gas, let go of the clutch, Pull the bike towards me. Pull the bike towards me. Because if you don't, the bike has a tendency to kind of slide away from you. And then when it's too far from you, you're just going to have to let go. <laughs> and the bike's just going to flip and oh! Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want that. And once you get kind of comfortable with that, you can kind of mix the two together. You know, maybe come in, slide, stand off the bike. No, that's something you guys could learn in like you know a day and impress your friends but you want to make sure that you understand the mechanics of it and that you want to stay leaned over because if you try it and you're not leaning the bike is going to do a wheelie the bike is going to come up and you're not going to be ready for it to come up and it's not going to be fun Step two, we're still on step two, is we're doing the same thing, but now we're sitting on the bike. So for this, you wanna sit as far forward as possible so you don't do an accidental wheelie. Lean your chest all the way forward. And when you dump the clutch, you wanna put emphasis in throwing your weight towards the front wheel. That'll get the wheel spinning really easy. So I give it some gas, dump the clutch. Okay. And for this one, I'm not giving it a lot of gas because I am on blacktop and it's slipping easy. But if you're on something with more grip, you guys are gonna have to give it a lot, a lot more gas. Now, taking y'all into step number three. So we're all the way here. We're gonna start locking the wheel, spinning it, and keeping it going. How do I keep it going, Nick? Well, you have to counter steer, which means if you wanna spin to the left, Eventually, you're going to have to lock your wheel to the right, but you're still going to be leaning the same way. And if that concept doesn't make sense to you, all I have to do is insert the car's clip here. I'll put it simple. If you're going hard enough left, you'll find yourself turning right. Turn right to go left. Right? 
anyone with a car who drifts understand. And if you guys don't counter steer, eventually you're gonna start to circle. You're gonna do another circle, you're gonna do another circle, and then you're just gonna drop the bike over. Hey, you guys, dump the clutch, lean forward. And now I'm gonna turn my head forward. Out. behind my butt it's way more satisfying of a feeling because you have more control when you kind of lock your wheel the direction that's necessary and you guys will feel when it's time to turn your wheel out and widen the drift you'll feel it but if you want to you can keep your handlebars in tight but it's gonna be a much smaller tighter drift All right, quick pro tip here, because this is where people start to panic. As you can see, I'm counter steering. I'm turning my handlebars a little bit to the right. But what I forgot to mention was I'm also leaning my body a little bit to the right or to the center now to keep the bike upright. You have to hold the gas consistent. Sometimes you got to give it even more gas so that you don't flip in high side. But you just don't panic. You lean your body back into the circle and you turn the handlebars. Keep going. <laughs> Kiss the curve. All right, I'm gonna do a uh, drift on the other side for you guys to show you it's the same concept. Even though I'm not as good at this side, but. I don't know why, I feel so much different on the right side than the left. leaning see that's what it is if you guys aren't leaning enough you're gonna start to fly out of the drift in full throttle it's kind of a scary feeling but you just follow through all the way don't stop giving it gas once you start giving it gas in a drift you can't just stop because you're gonna flip in high side you gotta follow through smooth I got low in that one. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this helped one person. If it did, that's a good day. I hope you guys are learning how to drift your mini bikes. I got a how to burn out video coming soon. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share to a friend. Peace.